Hello everyone. Um, so this is just a quick uh, temporary video um, about the new paths and path constraints in Spine. Also cover a little about the transform constraints. But uh, you might have already seen the, the video of the this small tank here driving on Twitter. And as you can see, we have a path here. And we have all of these different bones, these red bones here, following the path. And I'm just quickly going to show you how to, to set that up so you can so you can get something uh, similar. I'm just going to move this quickly. So you can see um, we can do deformation on the path and this can be animated similar to meshes. So, all right, so let's uh, start a new project. And uh, first thing we'll do is we'll just create a path and we do this by selecting a bone and then going here to new and create a path and I'll just call this the path. I'm just gonna quickly click around here. So like this and we're gonna leave this uh, actually we're gonna do it down here instead. All right, so um, we can uh, create some bones here. I'm just gonna create a single bone to start with and we'll select this bone. Oops. So, and then we'll go here to new. We can also go to constraints and then click new, but um, I prefer to just select bone, click new, and then path constraint. I'm gonna click path and we're gonna call this constraint one. And now uh, you can see we have a bone here. I'm just gonna change the color of it. Makes it a little easier. I have this bone here, constraint to the path. And if I select the constraint, we can either select it by going here See these icons here? This icon here means that this bone here has a constraint on it, a uh, path constraint. And these icons here means that this is the target. You can see this icon just slightly different. I'm gonna click here. And now I can change the position to animate the uh, bone moving along the path. And uh, I'm gonna go over these other settings here in a bit as well. So uh, one thing to note about the path is that we have this thing called constant speed. And you can see here, when unchecked, computing path position is more efficient, but less accurate and movement along the path may not have a constant speed. So uh, most of the time you would want to use constant speed, but if uh, you have a very simple path and you need to be careful about um, performance, you can try and turning off constant speed. I'm gonna leave it on for now. So to animate this, I'm going to animate mode. Now I will set a key here in the first frame. It's going to go to frame 50. I'm going to set the position to 100. So it's set to percent. And you see it already set a key. And now I'm going to play it back to see the bone follows the path. So actually, let me just get rid of that. So you can see now it's looping like so. And we can, uh, just like everything else, we can go in and change the graph. So you can see start moving slow and then faster, like so. Okay, so that's just a single, um, it's just a single bone constraint. I'll go to setup mode, let's uh, just delete this path here. Create a couple of new bones, like so. And then I'll select all these bones, and then click new path constraint, click here, call it one, you see now we have all the bones constrained one after another here. And if I go to the constraint and I change the position, you can see they're all following. But you can also see that, actually let me just, um, again, change the color of these bones here. Not the best colors that I've used, especially the background here. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just select the constraint here and change the position. You can see the tip doesn't land on the root of the next bone in the hierarchy. And to fix that, uh, or to change that, um, we can go here to, with rotate, we can change this to chain. Now the bones will, uh, the, the tip of the bone will target the root of the next bone in the hierarchy. So when I move it, you see it follows. But also notice down here, that we have this, um, it kind of falls off the path. And we also have this chain scale 
mode. Chain scale will uh, will scale the bones to try and keep them on the path. And so what happens here is it, it actually um, scales the bones down. You can see this bone here uh, gets scaled slightly down uh, to make sure that it can hit. Then it scales up when it goes um, gets out of this uh, sharp coin here. So and similar to uh, the other uh, single bone, we can animate this by going to animate mode, and we can. Uh, I'm just gonna actually make sure we have this set to zero first. Also notice you can go um, negative, and we can go above even if it's set to percent. And I'll show you what this means in a second as well. So let's go to animate mode and set a position key, and then we go to. Uh, let's actually just go to 200 percent. This means it will go around twice now, and we hit play. You can see we're moving, constraining this, and these uh, the the path itself can be deformed, and then that can be a key. So let's just uh, set a key here for for that. So then, so in this frame, this, and. So we can see it's, it's still following the path around, similar to what I did on the, the tank. Okay, so um, we also have another uh, couple of features here. For example, we have um, spacing here. Spacing, see, it changes the, the space between the bones. In with chain scale, it actually scales the bones up. Um, then we set it to chain. You see spacing behaves very differently. Um, and tangent, which is uh, really neat here, is we can actually put a gap between the bones. So now when I animate here, you see the bones are, they have a gap. This means you, could, you would actually be able to, to use this to have two uh, separate chains of bones and you could offset the one chain and then you would have two chains of bones following um, more more of that later. There's there's going to be some some example projects um, that will include with the the spine launcher um, in a, in a couple of days or hopefully in the next two three days. So all right. So let's uh, just quickly go over the uh, transform constraints. So this is very simple compared to to path constraints. Um, a transform constraint is basically a way to um, Reparent bone, um, but without changing the hierarchy. Or you can actually at least use it for that. So, so let's say that we have this bone here, and we want um, this bone to get the same position as this bone, or the same rotation, or whatever. So what we can do is I select the bone, click transform constraint. I pick and call this CMS two, and now um, you can see the bones run on top of each other. So I'll first just take the mix down, uh, mix ladder to set it to match. Match means that it will take the offset, uh, the current position offset, use that. You can see translation um, on X and uh, Y and so on. Um, let's do this. So I've set the rotation to the mix to 100. Now if I rotate this bone here, this bone will follow. We can also, we can also offset it. And uh, let's do that. Like so, and if I rotate it, you can see it's offset. Um, these uh, we can also take the translation. So since it now has an offset, let's let's try and zero this out. So you can see it's right on top. Um, we can move this. You can see it follows, but it doesn't follow entirely. It it has a slight uh, lag to it. So. And the same with scale and, and shear. And you can have uh, multiple, um, you can constrain multiple bones to, to single one. So let me show you what that can actually yield. So for example, here, um, these wheels here, they all rotate. So the two big wheels here, they rotate at a different speed than the six medium sized wheels and the three wheels up here rotate differently. So uh, since I don't wanna go in and set keys for uh, you know everything. Um, I've only set a key for this first bone here, so 
this one here we omit and when I rotate that these the bones here they they actually follow so the other bones here they follow along and what I've done is I've set um, made three different constraints for these and then I've uh, used the uh, rotation offset so I get slight variation and I did the same uh, with this wheel here um, if I select it actually let me just unhide it um, this wheel here is constrained to this one and so on and here the gun tower uh, I wanted to lag a little behind as well so it uh, uses this so it tries to always uh, get the this bone here tries to always have the same rotation as this one but with a with a small offset or lag so because the mix isn't set to 100 on rotation so if i play this back um you can see um, you can see it animating again um and also i've used skinning on the path you can see these bones here so um if i click here you see the the weights Okay, so uh, this was just a quick video. I hope it'll help you to use the paths. Um, there'll be another video coming out that is more detailed and a little slower. Uh, if you have any questions, please just uh, ask them on, on Twitter uh, or use our forum uh, at esotericsoftware.com uh, or you can just reply to this video. So I hope this helps. Bye for now.